Hey guys, Anna Nelson with She Found Grace, and I am here again to show you guys a homeschool review. Again, like I mentioned in my other um, review video, I will put a link below to um, my original video when I showed you guys the whole curriculum I had purchased for the year of 2017, 2018. I have already done a couple reviews, so if you wanna feel free to check them out, I'm gonna have to create a whole playlist for homeschool review. Um, <clears throat> okay, so today I'm going to review history. Um, uh, again, I will choose the things that I like, the things that I didn't like, and whether or not we're going to use it for next year. So for this year, when I was looking up curriculum for history, I went crazy. I think it is so overwhelming when you start homeschooling, especially this being our first year. We want to make sure we get our very best for our kids. So when I posted on the homeschool, a Christian homeschool um, page on Facebook, everybody pointed me to the mystery of history. It's a fairly thick book and I bought the whole pack because duh, I didn't want to mess up. So I bought the whole thing, which includes, I'll show you guys, a book on how to pronunciate all the Bible. Like, why is it? I'm sorry guys. To how to pronunciate a lot of the words in the Bible, like the places, names and such. A timeline that looks something like this. And on this timeline, you get these figures that you have to glue after every lesson, just like that. Kind of just cut them out and put them on the timeline. And at the end, at the point of, and the whole goal at the end of the whole curriculum, you have this huge timeline to look back on. Um, also, this the student's Bible atlas, just lots of maps. And it comes with the audio, in case you don't wanna do one lesson or maybe you're in the car and you have to get your history in but you don't have time to sit down. And it comes with the historical atlas of the world. Just more maps. So I bought all this for around $125. Okay, so what I liked about the mystery of history. And again, like all my review videos, at the end I put on some music and I just flip through the curriculum so you guys can kind of see the inside. So I'm gonna start with the things that I liked. The things that I liked it is obviously it's faith-based. For me, it's very important that my children understand education through um, a Christian perspective. That's especially being science and history. So um, mystery of history is Christian-based. The other thing that I really appreciated about the mystery of history was the fact that it is a family style learning. That means that you can teach your second grader and your sixth grader um, together. Oh, hi. <laughs> um, okay, we have a little baby here who just got out of my bed by himself and then came to mama. Hi. 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 Oh, you want to go outside? Can't go outside yet. <laughs> Say hello, everyone. Hello, hello. The third thing I really liked about this is that they're very thorough, very detailed about their lessons. Um, <laughs> I will tell you this. I love the fact that within every lesson, let's for example, lesson number 10, the stone hedges, right? After you read the lesson, it tells you right here what younger students can do. And it says they can create a miniature version of a stone hedge. So that can be for like your second grader or third grader, right? But then for your fourth grader and up, it gives you like, um, it says younger and middle students, if the weather is nice, go into your backyard and try to make a huge circle in the grass. There is a secret to making it easy. Have one person stand in the middle with the long rope or tape measure. It gives you like more um, in detail of what your older student should do. And then it goes even more onto you, maybe you have a high schooler and it goes even more. It says, do you know the definition of a uh, solstice uh, or an equinox? So it tells you, it breaks it down from elementary, middle and high school. So. This is family style learning, again, which is the second thing they liked about it. But the third thing I liked about it is that they're very thorough about their lesson and they tell you what kiddo can do what based on where they are on their grade level or even understanding. I know second graders who are just like, 
brilliantly understand everything, unlike the sentence I just spoke. So the things that I liked about it, uh, faith-based, family style learning, and three, they're very thorough, detailed about their lessons, and they give each child something to do, right? Now, <laughs> like always, I do the first things that I like first, and then the things that I didn't really appreciate about it, and the third thing that I like to share with you guys is whether or not we'll be using it. The things that I did not like about it, I, li I didn't like, like the price. Um, I have found other uh, curriculum that are cheaper than this. Um, I didn't like the fact that the price was a little more expensive than I wanted. Now, if $120 is not a big deal for you, then this is good for you. However, for me, I really try to cut down the cost on my homeschool curriculum um, as much as I can without cutting the quality of the education that I am trying to teach my daughters. So $120 bucks for me for history is just not what I would like to pay. So the one of the bad things, again, is the price. The other that bad thing I didn't like about it is the fact that it is very dry so dry that leading to my third thing, um, we are not gonna be using this curriculum for next year. We have found another history cu curriculum since then, which I will put a link below because I've already pretty much um, shown it to you as I did a review. I was sponsored by them, however, that is not why I like them. I like them, then they reached out to me, so they sponsored me. Um, I really enjoy that curriculum. This one is just way too much. Again, they're thorough and detailed, however, that's just a bit too much for some of my kiddos, so much that we dreaded opening this book after maybe just 10 lessons. Um, I do believe that this book is great. It's wonderful, but not for younger ages. I think if your child maybe was in middle school and up uh, and higher at the grade level, I think it would be great. Therefore, I am keeping this curriculum. I am not going to sell it, and I'm hoping that um, I can use this when my kiddos are way older. So there's nothing really bad about it besides the fact that it's expensive, but since I've already bought it, to me that's not a negative. However, however the initial purchase is like a bit painful to the account. So, um, I am going to keep this for the future, I'm not going to sell it, but again, it is just too much, way too much for my kiddos, 4th grade and 2nd grade. So yeah, that is um, the mystery of history, you guys. And if you guys want, I'll just recap real quick, the things that I liked was that it's Christian based, number two is family style learning, and you can teach your 2nd grader and your 6th grader, and it gives all of your kiddos something to do based on their level and they're very thorough very detailed the things that i did not appreciate about it is the price and the fact that it's really dry and very long and that just didn't work out for us this year therefore my conclusion is that for this year we will not be using it for this coming year we did choose another curriculum i hope you guys liked the uh review um again my reviews are not very long and at the end um i will be playing some music and show you guys kind of the inside and any if i need to do any voiceovers i will thank you guys for watching make sure that you like subscribe and let me know if you guys are interested in any other type of videos have a great day guys bye i will let it be known that there is a couple volumes this is only volume one Again, I apologize, you guys. Honestly, when I recorded this, it was landscape. Once I actually started um, editing this video, I tried flipping it many, many times, and it just didn't work. And so I apologize again for having this last bit, which is probably one of the most important parts, all messed up.